Welcome to a lesson on the uniform distribution. The uniform distribution is a continuous probability distribution and is concerned with the events that are equally likely to occur. When working out problems that have a uniform distribution, be careful to note if the data is inclusive or exclusive of endpoints. The data in Table 5.1 are 55 smiling times in seconds of an eight-week-old baby. The sample mean is equal to 11.49 and the sample standard deviation is equal to 6.23. We will assume that the smiling times in seconds follow a uniform distribution between 0 and 23 seconds inclusive. This means that any smiling time from 0 to and including 23 seconds is equally likely. The histogram that could be constructed from the sample is an empirical distribution that closely matches the theoretical uniform distribution. We will let the random variable x equal the length in seconds of an eight-week-old baby's smile. The notation for a uniform distribution is shown here, where a is equal to the lowest value of x and b is equal to the highest value of x. The probability density function is f of x equals one divided by the quantity b minus a, where again, b is the highest value of x and a is the lowest value of x. For our example, we have a uniform distribution where a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 23, and therefore the probability density function is f of x equals 1 23rd, which we can now graph on the coordinate plane, which looks like this. The formulas for the theoretical mean and theoretical standard deviation are shown below, which means for our example, where again a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 23, the theoretical mean is equal to 11.50 seconds, and the theoretical standard deviation is approximately 6.64 seconds. Notice the theoretical mean and standard deviation are close to the sample mean and standard deviation, which were given earlier as 11.49 seconds for the sample mean and 6.23 seconds for the sample standard deviation. And now let's find some probabilities using our example for the uniform distribution of the smile times of an eight-year-old baby. For number one, we're asked to find the probability an eight-week-old baby smiles less than five seconds. The notation we use for this is the probability that x is less than five. This is equal to the area under the curve over the interval from zero to five seconds. Let's go ahead and shade this. Here we have x equals zero, here we have x equals five. So the area that will give us the probability x is less than five is this red area here. Notice how the total area under the uniform distribution from zero to 23 would be one or 100% because the base is 23 and the height is 1 23rd. So to find probabilities of a uniform distribution, we use the area formula for a rectangle, which is the base times the height. So for the probability that x is less than five, we can see the base is equal to five. If we want, we can find the base by taking the right end point and subtracting the left end point, which in this case is just five minus zero, and then times the height, which is a function value of 1 23rd. Multiplying, we have five times 1 23rd, or 5 23rds, as the exact probability. Let's also get our decimal approximation to four decimal places. Five divided by 23, rounded to four decimal places, is approximately 0 0.2174, which would be 21.74%. For number two, find the probability that an eight-week-old baby smiles more than 10 seconds, which means we need to find the area under the curve from x equals 10 to the highest x value of 23. which is this area here. So again, we have the probability that x is greater than 10, which is equal to the area of the red rectangle, where the area is equal to the base times the height. In this case, the base, or the horizontal length of the rectangle, is going to be 23 minus 10, or 13 units, times the height, which is always the function value of 1 23rd, Again, 23 minus 10 is 13. 13 times 1 23rd is 13 23rds, 
as the exact probability, again, let's also get the decimal approximation as well as the percent. 13 divided by 23, rounded to four decimal places, is approximately 0 0.5652. which is equal to 56.52%. And for the last example, we're asked to find the probability an eight-week-old baby smiles between six and 12 seconds. This is the probability that x is greater than six and less than 12. Once again, let's go ahead and shade this area under the probability density function. x equals six is here x equals 12 is here. The probability is equal to the area of this red rectangle. Where the base has a length of 12 minus six or six units. And once again, the height is 1 23rd. Which gives us 6 23rds as the probability. Or as a decimal in the four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.2609, which is equal to 26.09%. So we'll go ahead and stop here on this video. In the next video, we will take a look at determining percentiles as well as conditional probability. I hope you found this helpful.